Hey, welcome back. So as we said in our last video, we needed you to do two things. Download the KS Player and the Amazon Alexa app in order to get going. If you've not done it yet, quick, go get them. Got them? Great. Let's crack on and power up the Voice One speaker. First, you need to grab the correct power adapter and plug it into the back of your speaker. Powering up for the first time, please wait. Awesome, so let's start by opening up the Kit Sound Player app. And click on Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. The speaker will be found, so choose Voice One, and now it will check the Wi-Fi status. Select your network and enter your password, then press continue. When it says connected, click next. Now here comes the fun part. You can name your speaker anything you want. We're going to keep the voice one, just because we like it, but feel free to change it if you want to. Now you can connect your voice one to your Amazon account to get access to thousands of songs and cool features. If you don't already have an Amazon account, you'll have to register for one. So just hit pause on this video, go sign up and then come back. All signed up? Awesome. Let's carry on. Now just set your preferred language. The app will show you a couple of things to try with Alexa, in case you get stuck with what to say. Here it just shows you how to mute the mics so they're not listening all the time. From now on, every time you go to your KS Player app, you'll see this screen. You'll see the name of your speaker and you'll be able to control the volume. You can choose whether you want your speaker to be left channel or right channel or even stereo. Stereo which is cool because you can have two speakers grouped as a stereo pair. It's also probably worth mentioning that you can have not one, not two, but eight voices connected together in your home. And then all be listed here. So it could probably be handy to name them after different rooms in your house, so you know which one you want to control. So, now if you're thinking of naming that voice one something random, probably wasn't the best move. Just click on settings in the top right corner and you can rename your speaker there. There's also a sleep timer, some info and other stuff to check out. If you do buy more than one speaker, obviously we recommend that you do, then you'll have to follow the setup process for each one, but you'll be a pro by the time you get to your eighth setup. Okay, so now you can come out of the app because you're all set up and connected. Go over and check our next video to see us have some fun with Amazon Alexa's features.